The role of the Northern Ireland Molecular Pathology Lab is to put two worlds together. So on the one hand, you have the Belfast Trust that understands that this development is essential to improve the health of our patients. On the other hand, you have the university that understands that this is the way of making research meaningful for the patients of today and the patients of tomorrow. That synergy within a single structure is very much unique and I think is the main strength of this laboratory. Um, my, my experience with the, the Cancer Research Centre is related to my husband's critical illness. He had cancer and um, he was treated at the city hospital and the team also were, were very much uh, involved in the work at this centre. Sean would be very pleased to think that um, th that that kind of energy was being channeled into making a contribution to, to, to improve cancer research and the outcomes for other people. He, he would be thrilled with that. All cancers are different and so it's important to have large numbers of samples for researchers to look for changes in genetic information or in protein levels within a cancer. If they have these large numbers of samples they can look for trends and that allows them to develop and new targets for drug treatments. Biobank is a resource that contains collections of clinical samples, samples that are of the highest quality and linked with robust and relevant clinical and pathological data. There are three aspects to the Northern Ireland Biobank. The first is a collection of what we call our prospective samples. These are when the clinical research nurses will uh, consent patients prospectively for the use of their tissues and bloods for research. So the second aspect of the bank is what we call our retrospective collection and that's where we work with the Belfast Trust to gain access to the samples that are held within the pathology archives. The third type of collection that the Northern Ireland Biobank focuses on is around haematological malignancies where we're collecting samples of leukaemia and lymphomas for haematological research purposes. Well from the very outset donation to the Northern Ireland Biobank is um, a voluntary donation and um, patients are under no obligation. If they are interested then we would take written informed consent from them. A written informed consent entails the patient understanding why they have been approached to take part, um, what their participation in the bank will involve, so what exactly we will collect from them and that might be blood, tissue, urine, saliva samples. They will also be informed as to what information is collected from them that will accompany their sample and the steps that we take to ensure that um, their identity is protected. The hybrid nature of this laboratory is also reflected in its activities. We are doing molecular pathology diagnostics and we are also doing molecular pathology translational research. We perform molecular diagnostics and this is essential to understand the, the concept of modern medicine. By analyzing the molecular basis of the cancers and the molecular basis of the patients that suffer from cancers, we are providing our clinicians with better ways to try to design a specific individual tailored treatments for individual patients. And it's essential. This is not something that we are going to deliver for the patients of the future. This is something that we are already delivering today for the patients that are suffering cancer in Northern Ireland. Molecular pathology diagnostics is relying on the trust. This is material coming from operations, be it a colon, appendix, lung samples. And the pathologists there are looking for samples which are representative of the condition, the disease affecting the patient. Every day, this laboratory analyzes the DNA and the RNA of many patients coming from our hospitals to help them directly. That DNA and that RNA, under the strict ethical and scientific governance of the Northern Ireland Biobank, will allow us to investigate, to interrogate, to research on new ways of diagnosing cancer and new ways of treating cancer. And that synergy is one of the important components of a broad program like ours. This laboratory is geared and is equipped to make a substantial difference in cancer research. Here in the Center for Cancer Research and Cell Biology, we have some of the most talented scientists 
in the cancer arena in the whole of the UK. In this laboratory, we can produce analysis from the simplest immunological or immunohistochemical technique to the most complex or sophisticated next generation sequencing test. Our goal is to provide them with the technical expertise and the access to patients so that their science can be even better and can be closer to the interest of the individual patient and the cancer community as a whole. So cancer researchers across the world generate hundreds of millions of glass slides every year in the search for new biomarkers of disease. Digital pathology allows us to take glass slides and generate high resolution diagnostic digital images of these slides. This gives us a number of really important advantages. It allows us to share glass slides with researchers anywhere in the world. It also gives us the ability to be able to measure these slides, um, improving our ability to discover new markers of disease and fast track the development of personalized medicine. So at Queen's we've established a, a dedicated digital pathology laboratory with all of the necessary scanning hardware and software to deliver a high quality internationally recognized digital pathology laboratory. We've taken great effort to embed digital pathology within the molecular program and integrated this within the Northern Ireland Biobank. This is a unique capability not just within the UK but globally. Queen's University Belfast has one of the best track records in the UK for translating science into business opportunities. This is very relevant because it creates jobs in the community and helps making the fabric of industrial activity in Northern Ireland stronger. Interestingly, some of the best examples of that transition between science into industry come from the pathology arena. Research and innovation within the centre has resulted in the creation of a number of important spin-out companies from the university. These are local companies based in Northern Ireland but with an international reputation. The companies are successfully developing new technologies in cancer detection and therapy and are generating business around the world. This place provides hope to people, to cancer sufferers, people like me who have lost a parent through this awful disease. And it shows you how whatever amount of money you can fundraise and you can give, this centre shows you exactly what's done with it and allows you to see the hope that you're bringing to other cancer sufferers and allows you to make a difference. The Northern Ireland Molecular Pathology Laboratory is fully committed to provide better diagnostics and to provide better research. And to do so, we are probably fulfilling one of the most important tasks in medicine, which is to try to alleviate the pain of those who suffer. <laughs>